Hey friends, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today, I am so excited to hang out with you because we are going to be spending the evening together showing you what the new kind of evening routine looks like for me in the new place, in the new house. As I'm settling in, especially within the past like two weeks, I've really found my groove in the mornings and in the evenings. That's what I'm gonna be taking you through. I don't really do routine videos necessarily anymore because I feel as if I don't have a super set specific one. Out of like the 10 things I do in the evening, probably four to five of them are routine and the rest just vary by day. And so I like to more so just take you guys through the evening with me and hang out. So that's what we're gonna do. I guess we could call it a routine if we wanted to, but it's honestly just going to be us going through the evening together, unwinding. I'm gonna be hanging out with you. I'm not weekly vlogging this week, so it's kind of nice to just hang out together. At 5 p.m., I shut my laptop and I get into this mode of like, what do I want to do? And I'm gonna spend the rest of my night and the rest of my day doing that. But that being said, one of the things that is an absolute constant in my evening routine, I added this in about two weeks ago that starts off and kicks off my evening routine is my hatch alarm clock, which you can see just sitting really cute on my nightstand. And I want to say thank you so much to Hatch for sponsoring this video. I'd known about Hatch long before I worked with them, which is why I'm so, so happy that I got to add it into my routine. It kind of walks me through my evening to night to morning, which is really cool. It literally makes sure that I start unwinding at 6 p.m., which is the time that I have set on the app for my unwind routine to start. In the morning, it wakes me up so gently. It's just, it's the nicest thing ever. And so I feel like he's my little accountability partner in order to stay on track, to get my beauty sleep, to get my full hours of sleep, because if not, I will sabotage my, my mornings. If you listen, it's playing music. I have that set by going into their app, which I wanna show you guys my evening routine that I have laid out on their app because there's so much you can choose from and you get to customize and organize what you want your clock to do throughout your evening. I have my cue to unwind at 6 p.m. because by that point, I should be off my laptop. I love it because when you open up these parts of your routine on the app, you can choose different colors and you can choose different sounds depending on what you want. The sound I have is called golden hour and the light I have is called golden hour and then after a while my next unwinding sound will start to play which is really cool which is called downtime delight right now i just have like very relaxing very tranquil colors to fit my routine i love that about the restore clock is that it really has its own cues and you get to customize it to whatever you want to your sleep schedule to your evening and morning routine i love that the restore clock helps me wake up and go to sleep in a really healthy and natural way. If you want to check out Hatch or check out the Restore Clock, I love it so, so much. I think it's a great gift to yourself. I think it's a great gift to a spouse or to a parent. And I will have all of that linked down below. I'll have the Hatch website linked down below if you wanna check it out, if you wanna try it out. Thank you so much to Hatch for working with me on this video. I'm so excited to show you guys how I've been doing my evenings recently. Another thing that is a non-negotiable for me in my evenings is to drink a lot of water because usually by this point of the day I've either done really well on my water intake or i'm trying to catch up i would say today i'm on the latter half of that after i moved my skin absolutely freaked out which really really sucked i think it was because of stress i feel like i'm literally finally coming out on the other side of that like i have felt like I'm getting into a groove here guys like I'm it's actually starting to feel like home this is my fifth week here so it's really you know I'm really settling into it and I the more things I kind of add or I put up it's just feeling a lot more cozy a lot more homey I started breaking out really bad and I was really down about it and then I also realized I was drinking like not much water at all and I was like well dehydration is definitely gonna make that a lot worse and make it snowball so I've also noticed since I've been drinking more water being more intentional about it within the last like week I would say it has gotten so so much better if there's something I'm way too well acquainted with, it's breakouts. And if there's something I would really love to stop, it's my breakouts. So it's just like, I have really bad genes when it comes to it, like really bad genes. Like both of my parents had like really horrible cystic acne. So sometimes I'm honestly grateful because I'm like, it could be way worse. I'm thinking right now, 
I'm going to kick off my evening with a little outdoor walk. I haven't spent much time outside today. It's looking super cloudy right now and I think it's gonna rain. Yes, indeed, it says 90% chance of rain in the next 30 minutes. So I should probably go right now so that way I don't get caught in the rain and I'm going to walk Lola. This is when I take her on her long walk because it's way too hot any other time of the day. That's what we're gonna kick off the evening with and then I will probably just sit outside and read my book. I love to use the evenings to get outdoors because I spend so much time inside on my laptop during the day that it can kind of feel a little bit suffocating. I also work out in the mornings, so my evenings are very chill. I don't do any type of physical activity in the evenings. That's actually the opposite of what we're gonna do. Wait, I'm literally going on a walk. Starting a new book today. I'm literally getting harassed by a fly right now. I love the outside and I absolutely hate bugs. I hate them, I'm terrified of them. Those two things don't mix. Sarah's gone. So this is the part of the day or the night, the evening, where I have given myself a little bit of time to just do whatever I want. After I finish editing for the day, I will for sure give myself like at least two hours to just chill. As long as I don't have plans in the evening, of course, which I don't today. So now is the part of the evening where I basically need to do my chores. <laughs> I feel like such a little like kid saying that, like I have to do chores, but it's true. I have like daily chores. I have a huge pile of laundry that you can't see that has been sitting there since Sunday. Today's Tuesday and you know, some days it sits there till Friday. And I'm really trying to not let that happen this week. Just like tidy up, vacuum my bathroom, probably also order some food because I'm feeling like I should have a takeout night. It just sounds good. It's just what I'm feeling for this evening. Possibly run like some little afternoon fun errands. This Honestly, one of my favorite parts of the day is when I get to reward myself after a day of work and like go run fun errands or like go book shopping, go to Target. Today, I really want to perhaps go get a Kindle because if you guys don't know, I have a Nook because I got a Nook as a gift from Renee last year because he didn't know that most people have Kindles. The Nook is nice, it's just so small. Like the screen of it is so tiny. And while I do chores, I wanna keep reading. I started Finale by Stephanie Garber, which is the third book in the Caraval trilogy. I am going to listen to it on Audible because I love a good audiobook while I do other things. I feel like I'm being productive times two because I'm like folding and I'm reading. That's just ultimate productivity for me. So hilarious that I just opened up Audible. Like I literally just started this book. I'm on page like 20. I opened up Audible and I'm in the middle of chapter 27 because the other night I fell asleep listening to it. Oh my gosh, guys. Literally got through like two minutes of it. And so then I wake up at like 4 a.m. and finale still playing. I'm so confused because I can hear all of the different voices and I'm like, what is that? And then I'm like, oh my gosh, my audiobook is still playing. Not to mention, it was literally feeding my dreams. Like as I was sleeping, the audiobook was going and you know when you hear things in real life, they go into your dreams. I dreamed that night. Out of pocket off the charts. Like they were so weird. They were so disturbingly weird and if you've read Caraval, you know the settings are so weird and so as it was playing it was feeding my dream and it was honestly a really unpleasant experience i'm not going to do that again <laughs> so we're just going to rewind that and honestly tip guys don't fall asleep to crazy fantasy books because you will have crazy fantasy dreams it's not pleasant to live in the book world as as much as i thought it would be
Okay, so the place I was getting a takeout from actually closed down, which sucks. So I just went to a second fave of mine, which is called Mings. You guys have seen me eat this before, but it's so good. I got myself a cilantro lime soy shrimp noodle bowl. Okay, there's no shrimp. And then we have these cauliflower bites. Mm. Just hopped out of the shower, feeling fresh and clean. Also, if my eyes look red, I'm literally exhausted. I am at the point of the night where I usually don't talk to anyone. So if I sound a little crazy, it's because I'm I'm checked out for the day. It's like 10 o'clock right now. I was just sitting on the couch for a while. I was watching TV for like half an hour. Right now I'm gonna do my little spread on my bed before I sleep, which is like all my books and prayer time and all of that. I wanted to chat you through some of my skincare. Um, I always use these little pimple patches if I have like active pimples, which right now I actually don't like I just have scarring right now, which sucks, but retinol helps so 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 much whenever I use it I notice such a drastic difference in my skin and I've upped it to the point where I'm using it twice a week Because I had to like train my skin on it and I notice such a difference. Of course, there's still some but it's fine Foundation covers it, it's okay. Also, I wanted to show you, I don't do like super specific things to treat my breakouts besides retinol. And I recently started using this cleanser at nighttime, which is from, I think you say it, Naturium. They sell it at Target and this is the benzoyl peroxide cleanser, 5%. I think it's basically like Panoxyl, but I don't know if this is like a cleaner or more gentler version, I'm not sure. I actually feel like it's been helping because I, again, don't use like acne necessarily management products, mainly because I have super dry skin. So if I use like salicylic acid within my routine, it's just gonna dry out my skin. So I don't really, I try not to do that too much. So first what I'm gonna do is actually wet my face. I'm gonna dampen it. And I'm taking this Eminent Strawberry Rhubarb Hyaluronic Serum. And look at how pretty that is. It's literally pink. That is so cute. It's like the prettiest skincare I've ever had. And the reason I wet my face before is because I've heard that when you're using hyaluronic acid, it's really important that you do it on like damp skin since it pulls the water from whatever you're applying it to. If you don't have damp skin, it's gonna pull it from your skin. And since I have already dry skin, that's just gonna make it drier. So in order for it to work correctly, I use it on damp skin. And I love Eminence Organics, one of my favorite skincare brands. I just recently randomly ordered these two when I put in an order for the face oil from them that I always get. I got this Marine Flower Peptide Concentrate. Honestly, not completely sure what it does, but anything that says peptide in it, I'm going for it. And I just use it over top as like a little bit of a hydrating serum. Going with my eye cream. This is from Skin Better Science. I love this brand so much. I usually use our moisturizer, but I ran out of it and it's so expensive. I've just been like, avoiding buying it and just kind of finishing like some other moisturizers that i have but it is like my all-time favorite it's the trio rebalancing moisturizer in place of that i'm using the Ulta md pm therapy moisturizer i trust Ulta md i like them like really press it into the skin lastly i'm going to take the eminence organics facial recovery oil love 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 this face oil it's so lightweight has no fragrance and I feel like this just seals everything in and kind of like replenishes oil that my skin doesn't make on its own. And that's usually like the last step in my skincare routine. If I am gonna use retinol, my favorite one to use is this one from Skin Better Science. It's the Alpha Ret Clearing Serum and I'll use it twice a week. I started with once a week for like almost two months just because I wanted to get my skin really used to it. And then I upped it to twice a week and it doesn't burn or anything, does not make my skin red. It's super gentle and I have very sensitive skin. So this has been like my favorite retinol that I've tried so far. On the same note, if I want to spot treat, like let's say I have a pimple that 
is either like not gonna work with a pimple patch or has just been there way too long and needs a little boost kicking it out. This is Adapalene and I just buy this at like Target. Like I have some healing blemishes that if I use just the tiniest amount, it kind of just helps them get out. I'm gonna use some of my Laneige lip mask. I was like trying to find the towel in the viewfinder. I was like, where is it? Right behind my head. My eyes are tired. They're really tired. Like they just want to stay like this for the rest of the night. And I'm like, guys, we still got things to do. I'm going to do a little, little bit of masking. And I love to put them in the fridge and then I'll take them out like before I shower or something. So they're all chilled and nice when I put them on. And the jelly, they're just so like satisfying to me. The jelly texture of them. These are the eye patches. And I specifically didn't put face oil like around my eyes so I could put these eye patches on. Cute. I wanted to give you guys an update on my cat friends saga. I don't know if you've heard in my weekly vlog. I said it in passing that I started feeding these outdoor cats. Well, it was one cat. It was one cat. She ended up on my patio. I started feeding her. Said I was not going to name her. I was not going to do that because I was going to get attached. Her name is Clover. Clover decided to bring her kittens to my yard. And I was like, okay, um, ma'am, I'm not really sure what to do about that. I call it a saga because I have become a little bit attached to these kittens and cat that are not mine. Well, anyway, she brought her kittens and they would play in my yard every single night and it was like a highlight of my night. I got to like give them treats and stuff. They seemed like they were having a blast. They all lived here. I was like, when they get old enough, I would love to find them homes. I had this whole plan worked out for them and their lives only for Clover to move the kittens. She took them. She took the kittens. And I'm, this is why I don't have cats. This is why I don't want a cat. And I just want to love her and she won't let me. So that's why I'm a dog person. Okay, this is the part of the night where I do like a spread of books on my bed. Books are my comfort. Any type of book. Fiction, nonfiction, AKA the Bible. And I also have my planner because I am going to re-check in with today's plans that I made and just like check off what I did. Pencil in anything for tomorrow that I need to get done. I don't normally do this, but I wanna get way better at it because I'm doing this thing where I write my agenda for the day and I don't check back in with it. I thought we could unbox my Kindle because I want to do this quickly before I start anything else. So I got the Kindle Paperwhite. It's just like the normal one, 16 gigabytes. Yay, oh my God. One thing I also really didn't like about the Nook that I felt like was making me waste money was every single book I read, if I wanted to read it digitally, like on here, I needed to rebuy it. And with Kindle, there is Kindle Unlimited, so I could just pay for that membership. And I, But I didn't realize that there was another way to do it, or I probably would have bought this sooner because it's just gonna save me so much money in the long run. I'm a Kindle girly now. Wow, this is so like full circle. When I was 12, I had a Kindle Fire. I don't know if that's niche or if everyone had one. And I read the Hunger Games series on it like four times. I just like kept rereading it because I was obsessed with it. bit different because it's actually the next day. I went to edit this video today, realized that some of the clips were missing. I just figured I would refilm it. It's a good thing I do pretty much the same thing every single day. I like to get in bed like I told you guys with like the spread of my books and I just spend time 
really just relaxing. Like my books are my happy place. So I'll read my Bible for a while, pray. Tonight I did Bible study with Renee. We're going through Philippians. I'm in chapter two and it has been amazing. Then I'll switch over to like my fiction books. I don't know if I've said, but I'm actually reading Finale right now and I'm on chapter 20, 30% through, which my Kindle is telling me. I have been reading on it today. It's been so nice. I also listened to a bunch of it on audiobook during my run this morning. I am loving it so far. It's going way better than the other two went for me already, like just right off the bat because it's just picked up so much faster. We get dual point of views between the two sisters. We're not in the middle of a care ball game. So things are different for this book, which is really refreshing. After reading about that twice, I feel like it got super repetitive. I feel like a lot of things were made a mess in the last book and Tella was kind of at the center of that. Tella is one of the sisters that we follow and she kind of made a mess of things in the second book. I. I don't know. I feel like I like her character and then there's sometimes where I just like don't like her character Because I feel like she does such for lack of a better word like dumb things It causes her so much trouble and like for what like for what I was also doing some of my reading journal earlier today going so well I have my June spreads set up But I'm gonna keep that a secret for now until I show it in the next reading vlog or during this time I'll watch some sort of TV show. What are you guys watching right now? Now I'm kind of just rambling. I just wanted to talk you guys through my evening, take you through all of it. Make sure to check out Hatch and the Restore Clock if you are looking for a new sleeping buddy to help you unwind through your evening routine. But that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I hope it wasn't too mundane. So much of my evening is me focused on just like unwinding for the day planning for the next day. You guys saw I had a planning session where I just check off everything that went well during the day and then I'll scribble in and get done or what needs to get done that's already on my radar for the next morning. So that way when I wake up, I have a plan. This is currently my summer evening night routine. So let me know if you guys enjoyed it. If you want a summer morning routine, those are a little bit more fast paced. So make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the vlogs. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to and keep up with more of my content over there. Thank you besties for watching. I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.